everybody. Welcome back to another episode of How to Pass the Math FSA. I'm Miss McCarthy, and today our standard is maths.5.mbt.2.7. That 5 stands for 5th grade, so if you are not a 5th grader or related to a 5th grader or something, then this is not really the place for you. Um, but if you are, then you're in the right place. Or if you're a teacher, tutor, parent who's curious about the FSA, I'm here to help you out. Um, this is our last numbers base 10 standard before we move on to fractions for those of you who are following me sequentially. Um, in today's lesson, we will be talking about adding, subtracting, multiplying, and dividing decimals. So this should be awesome. Let me teach ya. Okay, so example one says, what is the value of the expression? 12 and 40 five hundredths minus nine and seven tenths. So we have 12 and 45 hundredths. It's a, it's a little bit challenging to do this horizontally, so I'm going to line up my place values. So my nine goes here in the ones place, then my decimal is nice and neat and lined up. Then my seven, but there's nothing here. What do I, oh, a zero. There we go, and I'm subtracting. So just like you've done starting in like second grade with regrouping. Same kind of thing. So five minus zero is five. Four minus seven, you can't do that. You borrow, this becomes 14. 14 minus seven is seven. Bring down my decimal point. One minus nine, you can't do that. So we borrow from there, that becomes 11, two. So this would be two and 75 hundredths or 2.75 that you would push into your equation editor. Okay, example two says select all, so we need multi-select here. Select all the expressions that have a value of 12.12, .12, or as we should be saying at 12 and 12 hundredths. So I've got some addition, some subtraction, some multiplication, some division, and then multiplication. I need to solve all these babies out to see if I get a value of 12 and 12 hundredths. So let's go. All right, so let's start over here. 6.6, 6, .6. 6 and 6 tenths, add them together, I get 12, 13.2, no, that doesn't work. Next, 14 and 5 hundredths minus 1 and 93 hundredths, 5 minus 3 is 2, 0 minus 9, we can't do that, we need to borrow from here and regroup, let me get it looking good. 3 minus 1 is 2, 1, boom, that works. All right. Next, 6. 6 times 2. 6 times 2 is 12. 2 times 0 is 2, plus 1 is 1. 6 times 2 is 12, looks good. And here I have one, two numbers behind the decimal point. So that would be one, two, numbers behind the decimal point, 12.12. 12. Yes, sir. Okay. Um, let me see. I'm going to do this one up here. Zero, four tenths, and three, and 696 thousandths. There is a rule when you are dividing that you cannot have decimals here in the divisor. So I'm going to move my decimal point over like that. And because I moved it over one place, I'm going to move it over one place here. So when I rewrite that, it now looks like 36 and 96 hundredths, um, which is the same thing. They're equivalent. So we can solve this out. 4 goes into 36 9 times. 9 times 4 is 36. 0, bring down the 9, goes into it 2 times. That's 8, 16, goes into it 4 times, that's 16, so 0, and bring my decimal point up. So 9 and 24 hundredths is not the same thing as 12 and 12 hundredths, so that is wrong. All that work for nothing. Just kidding. I'm going to bring this down just a little bit, sorry. Times 3. 2 times 3 is 6. Right there we can stop, because it's not, we don't have a six there, but I'm going to keep going. Three times one is three, 
and 3 times 4 is 12. Two decimal places, two decimal places, 12 and 36 hundredths is not the same. That's wrong. It's the second and the third answer choice. <sighs> A little winded after that last one. <sighs> Example three. Trenton earns money walking dogs. He earned $15.84 one week and $27.68 the following week. One week and the following week. How much money did he earn for both weeks of work? So because we're trying to figure out how much he earned for both weeks, that would be adding the two. So part A says, create an expression that represents the above scenario. This is a graphic response item display item, um, and that's where you would click and drag and interact with whatever features um, and pictures that they have. So I'm gonna create an expression that represents what it's asking me to do and it's asking me to add. So I'm gonna take $15.84 and put that here and add, so addition symbol, and then 27.68. I would drag that and put it there. What is the value of this expression? Well, let me make this a little bit bigger. So if I'm adding them together, I would not do it horizontally, off, obviously. Obvi. 4 plus 8 is 12. That would be 1 plus 8 is 9. 9 plus 6 is 15. My brain is working too fast. 1 plus 5 is 6, 6 plus 7 is 13, and that would be $43.52. So what's the value? It would be A. Okay, last one for this standard. It's example 4. It's a word problem, and that's okay. You will survive. Poe's dog weighs 13 and 19 hundredths pounds. Ricky's dog weighs three times the amount of Poe's dog. How much does Ricky's dog weigh? Explain the strategy that you use to solve this problem. Okay, well, I see that Poe's dog weighed 13.19, and Ricky's dog weighed three times that. That means I need to multiply this three times, 13.19, three times, or 13 and 19 hundredths, three times. Nine times three is 27. 3 times 1 is 3, plus 2 is 5, 3 times 3 is 9, 3 times 1 is 3, so 3,957, <clears throat> got to put my decimals in, so there are two digits behind the decimal, so 1, 2 digits behind the decimal, so now let me answer it, <clears throat> Ricky's dog weighs 39 and 57 hundredths pounds. I multiplied 13 and 19 hundredths times 3 because the Problem stated that Ricky's dog was three times the weight of those. Doggy doggy. All right. All right, everybody. Before you leave, let me leave you with this motivational message. Be kind. Everyone that you meet is fighting a battle that you know nothing about. Everybody has a backstory. Everybody has something that they're, they're dealing with and you don't know what it is. So be kind, be nice. Don't be a bully. Be kind or be quiet. If you have nothing to say, nothing nice to say, then don't say anything at all. Okay? I'll catch you guys later.